The rap industry today has seen rappers from the Rolling 60s Crips to Gangster Disciples, the Black Disciples, and even the Nine Trey Gangsters. Unfortunately, while these rappers may be talented at what they do, they've brought the gang culture of killing and getting killed into the industry. And so far, we've seen many rappers get killed. We've even watched rappers kill other people. Keep watching till the end of this video to see rappers that are killers versus rappers that were killed. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. King Von the Killer It would only be right to start with O-Block rapper King Von. You see, not only did King Von get shot and killed, but he also faced jail time for murder and was named as the murderer of three people after his death. Before King Von was shot and killed in 2020, he rapped about the gang life that he was brought up in. He was one of the rappers who put the spotlight on Chicago gang activities by telling stories about himself, his gang members, and their ops in his music. But he did more than telling a story. He also told on himself as he revealed on one of his tracks that he had seven bodies to his name. In the track, Demon, King Von rapped, Talking about bodies, I got a few. 4 plus 3, 3 plus 2. He revealed the number of people he had killed, but he never spoke about them, even when it was playfully asked in a Q&A session online. However, one person King Von always spoke about was Gakira Barnes, aka K.I., the deadliest shooter on 63rd. King Von talked about K.I. when she was alive and even years after she had passed away and he had become a rapper. He was granted an interview where he spoke about her. According to King Von, he had a crush on K.I. back when they were teenagers and he wanted her to be his girlfriend. K.I. was just as much of a deadly gangster as he was and they were both on the rival block. Sadly, after King Von passed, the authorities named him the shooter in K.I.'s murder. Gakira was known majorly for taking out O.D. Perry, the young man who the infamous O-Block was named after. O.D. Perry had taken a hit on Tuka, who was from 63rd and was good friends with K.I. On Tuka's birthday, a year after his death, K.I. killed O.D. Perry, and members of O-Block sought retaliation, especially against her. Sadly, King Von was the one to redeem O-Block's revenge when he allegedly shot Gakira on her way to a party just a day after they exchanged words via Twitter. While the authorities in the streets believe that O-Block's deadliest shooter, King Von, took out the 63rd's most lethal shooter, K.I., one rapper, King Lil J, who was close friends with her claims that King Von would have never been as fast as K.I. and she would have taken him out first. King Lil J said in an interview, that bit is false man, K.I. would have killed him man, she trying to f but she trying to some man. Despite being told that there was actual police evidence that King Von had ended K.I., King Lil J maintained his grounds, that he'd grown up with them both and he knew for sure that K.I. would have killed King Von before she let him kill her. Other names have been attached to King Von's hit list, including Richard Modell, Derek Johnson, aka P5, Rodney Stewart, aka Boss Trell, and Malcolm Stuckey. Unfortunately, there may be others that didn't make it to the internet. DeBaby DeBaby is known as one of the most controversial rappers out there, and there are several reasons why this is so. One of them being that DeBaby actually pulled the trigger that took a man's life, but walked away scot-free. Back in 2018, what rapper DeBaby had imagined being a great day for Christmas shopping with his family turned into a messy day for him. The rapper went shopping for winter clothes when two men jumped at them and flashed a gun. They got into a confrontation, ending with DeBaby putting a bullet in 19-year-old Jalen Dominique Craig. After that incident, DeBaby's lawyers advised him not to speak on the issue, but he didn't listen to them. Instead, he made an Instagram video saying, lawyers telling me not to say something and all that. Two, walk down on you and your whole family, threaten y'all, whip out on y'all. Let me see what y'all going to. You feel me? Shortly after, DeBaby was arrested, but the prosecution couldn't build a strong case to put him behind bars. He wasn't charged with murder. Instead, he was only charged with carrying a concealed firearm. After a suspended 30-day jail sentence, DeBaby received one year of unsupervised probation. DeBaby has talked about the shooting at Walmart several times in his music, and he always claims he acted in self-defense. In 2019, in an interview with Billboard, he said he didn't feel bad for shooting Jalen. In DeBaby's words, 
From my end, it was unavoidable. It wasn't my action, it was my reaction. At the end of the day, my family was right there. My daughter. So hell no, I don't lose no sleep. The details of what really went down at the mall that day have been sketchy, but DaBaby stands by his word. He didn't know how it happened, he just knows it did. He also rapped on one of his tracks, Masterpiece, where he said, I don't know what went down at that Walmart. I don't know what happened on that freeway. Okay, there go to baby. He back now. Run it back. Hey, turn on that replay. FBG Duck Chicago rapper FBG Duck, who was from 63rd, was one of the first popular rappers from the Chicago gang scene to get killed. FBG Duck's death rocked the beef between 63rd and Oblock. And like most rappers who have lost their lives from gun and gang violence, FBG Duck shared his location on social media. After he shared his location on social media, members of his rival gang at Oblock had four men pull up on him in the high-end Gold Coast section of Chicago while shopping in boutiques with his girlfriend and two of his friends. It was about 4.30 in the evening when the four men opened fire on FBG FBG Duck and shot him in the chest, groin, and leg. Three weeks before his death, FBG Duck released a music video where he dissed the fallen disciples of the Black Disciples gang, who were also O Block members. In the song titled Dead Bitches, he said, Said I wasn't gonna diss the dead, and okay, I did it, but T Roy and OD, them dead. According to the police, they believe that FBG Duck's derogatory statements were what caused the rival block to attack the rapper. It wasn't hard for them to conclude, especially since people on social media had often referred to FBG Duck as King Von's favorite op. King Von gets killed. A popular adage goes, live by the sword, die by the sword. Only this time, King Von died after three bullets were shot at him. On November 6th, 2020, Oblock gangster King Von met his end at the hands of Timothy Leakes, aka Lol Tim, a friend to rapper Quando Rondo and a member of NBA Youngboy's 4K Trey crew. Quando Rondo and his friends had gone to the Hookah Lounge, a nightclub in Atlanta, where they got into a scuffle with King Von and his crew. According to Quando's details of the fateful night, he had gone to the club with his guys, but he was too tired to go in. So, Quando decided to stay back in the car to get some sleep, and his friend turned brother, Lol Tim, decided to stay back with him while he slept. Quando claimed that shortly after falling asleep, an individual came out of nowhere and began attacking himself and Lol Tim. A fight had broken off inside the club with King Von's crew. Unfortunately for King Von, he caught some bullets, and so came about the end of Oblock's most feared gangster. That's the end of today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Thanks.